Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a function f from r to r. So it is a continuous function. They have given f is a closed subset of r and one more set they have defined. A is defined in this way. It is a subset of f, getting it contains elements of f such that f of x is equal to 0. And we have to prove that A is a closed subset of R. I have clearly mentioned to prove that set A is closed. How to prove the set is closed? We can prove its complement is open or we can prove A is equal to A bar. So in this example, we will prove that A is equal to A bar. That is to prove, let me mention, that is to prove that A is equal to A bar. How to prove two sets are equal? We prove first set is subset of second and then we prove second set is subset of first. Okay. Let us recall the definition of A bar. It is A union A dash. That means if you take union of A with A dash, that means set of limit points of A, then we get A bar. So clearly A is subset of A bar. So let me mention clearly a is subset of a bar let me call it as one so the half task is done getting we proved the first set is subset of second now to prove the second set is subset of first now to prove that that second set a bar is subset of first so how to prove this set is subset of a we take any arbitrary element from a bar and we will prove that it is in a then we can say a bar is subset of a so let us take one element, A belongs to A bar. As A is in A bar, that means A is in closure of A, we can find one sequence of points of A, which will converge to this point. So let me write here, therefore, there exists a sequence Xn. We get a sequence Xn of points of A, which will converge, which will converge to a. So this is so much important thing we have got. Getting? See, uh, let us continue the next part here. But the most important thing we have, the most important thing that is Xn belongs to A. Since Xn is a sequence of points of A, so Xn belongs to A for all n belongs to set of natural number. But see what is the definition of A? This one. So x belongs to f and f of x is equal to 0. So xn belongs to a, that means xn will satisfy the condition of a. So by condition of a, we can write f of xn is equal to 0 for all n belongs to set of natural number. This is again important thing. So let me call it as 2. Okay. So let us continue now. Let us use the given information now. What is the given information? That f is a continuous function. This is so much important thing we have. So let me write. We have the information is f from r to r is continuous. So this is a continuous function. And xn is a sequence in r, sequence in r, and that sequence converges to a. Actually, this is set of real line, okay? So we have some subset F of R and A is again subset of F. We have a sequence of points of A. This is Xn we have, but A is subset of F and F is subset of R. So we can say Xn is a sequence of points of R. Okay, so and the same thing I have mentioned here. So you remember the sequential criteria of continuity. So that criteria says if f is continuous and xn converges to a, then f of xn converges to f of a. So by that thing I can write implies f of xn converges to f of a. This is another important thing. So I'm calling it as 3. Okay. Uh, did you notice from 2 f of xn is equal to 0? That means if you take any xn, f of xn is always 0. So we can say f of xn is a constant sequence since each term is 0 let me mention from 2 from 2 f of xn okay f of xn is a 
constant sequence. It is a constant sequence since all terms are same which are 0 and obviously that f of x n converges to 0 since each terms are 0. Let me call it as 4. So, here 3 says f of x n converges to f of a and 4 says f of x n converges to 0. But if any sequence is convergent, it converges to a unique point. So, that is why f of a is equal to 0. So, let me mention here from 3 and 4 and by uniqueness of limit, uniqueness of limit, what will we get? We get f of a is equal to 0. So, let me call it as star. So, a satisfies this condition f of x is equal to 0 that is f of a is equal to 0. So, can we say a is an element of capital A, but still he has not satisfied the first condition. The first condition is that element should be from capital F. It satisfies the second condition, but now we have to prove that a satisfies the first condition also. Let us do that just make a screenshot of it. Uh, so, let us continue. So, now what will I do? we can clearly write a is subset of f by definition of a we clearly get a subset of f. So, therefore, if you take bar of both sides, so a bar subset of a bar. So, this part we have already seen if a subset of b then a bar subset of b bar. But the most important thing is f is close. So, as the set f is close a bar is subset of f. Let me mention the reason because f is close. So, we know that when set is close, it is equal to its closure. So, f bar is equal to f. So, that is why I could write it. But see basically we have taken point a from a bar and we are getting a bar is subset of f. So, therefore, what can we write? A, is a belongs to f. Getting a belongs to a bar and a bar is subset of f. That is why a belongs to f. This is second important thing. So, let me call it as double star. So, from star and double star, star and double star, what we get? We get a belongs to f and f of a is equal to 0. So, x belongs to f and f of x is equal to 0. That means, a satisfies the both conditions of a. So, therefore, we can declare a belongs to capital A. Let me call it as equation. This is statement number 5. See, uh, okay, a belongs to, uh, instead of saying say that statement number 5, I can say a bar is subset of a and that will be the statement number 5. Actually, we started with a belongs to a bar and we prove that a belongs to a. Therefore, we can say a bar is subset of a. Our statement number 1 is a subset of a bar. Statement number 5 is a bar is subset of a. So, from both one, we can say both are, them are equal. So, let me mention that thing just make a screenshot of it. So, from 1 and 5, from 1 and 5, we get a is equal to a bar. Since a is subset of a bar and a bar is also subset of a. So, implies a is close set in R. So, if we know that if a is equal to a bar, then we declare it is a closed set and we got this one. Okay. So, in this way, we completed this example. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.